final lineup for the PlayStation Classic has been revealed. Let's find out what the other 15 games are, which ones I think were a good choice or better, or should I say which ones I personally am excited for, which ones I think we could have done without, why I think people might be backing out of their pre-orders, and why I think it just doesn't matter what's on the PlayStation Classic. Alright, before we get into the topic of today, I'd like to say don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to keep informed of new videos I'm uploading on the Wii Deem channel. As I said, they have released the final 15 games of the 20 that will be on the PlayStation Classic releasing in December, I think around the 13th. And honestly, at this point, to me, it really doesn't matter what's on the PlayStation Classic, and we'll get into why I feel that way towards the end of this video. But for now, let's take a look at the 20 games that are going to be on the PlayStation Classic, which ones I'm excited for, which are not many, and those I think we could have done without, and then also find out why, as I said, it doesn't really matter what's on the PlayStation Classic. Alright, the first game is Battle Arena Toshiden. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that wrong. You dumb mother! There are some times where I butcher names or just trip on my words and say things wrong. But apparently this is a 3D fighter. Now right off the bat, I want to say I think they should have done without 3D fighters on the PlayStation Classic because let's be real, they just don't age well. Now if there were some 2D fighters on here, which I don't think there were many on the PlayStation, that would be a whole lot better. Those 2D counterpart fighting games just seem to age better. Next game is Cool Borders 2. I myself am not too excited about this, don't get me wrong, back in the day when I was a kid I had a lot of fun with Cool Borders 2 pulling off tricks, but I mean honestly is this a game we really needed to be on the PlayStation Classic? Is this something that's going to bring us some nostalgia of the PlayStation Classic, bring some excitement to it? No, I don't think it will. Look at that, I got tongue tied. Next game's Destruction Derby, honestly. I've played a couple of these, always had fun with it, it's nothing but mayhem and carnage, crashing cars into each other, how can you go wrong? Could there have been a better game in its place? Yes, there could have been, but honestly, I think I might have fun with this game when I get my PlayStation Classic. Next game is Final Fantasy VII, now for me, not too excited, and that's only because I've never been into turn-based RPGs. Now a lot of people are happy to have this, there are some people who are a fan of the game that said that they're just not going to drop down $100 on the PlayStation Classic just for this game because they can get it remastered on other systems. Let's go into the other games. Grand Theft Auto, yes the original, the bird's eye view, top down Grand Theft Auto. Now me, I've only played a little of this game, I've never really dived into the originals. I myself am used to the 3D Grand Theft Autos of today and I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back and play this game and keep entertained enough to beat it the whole way through knowing that the last one I played was Grand Theft Auto 5. Will this bring me excitement? I don't know, we'll have to see when I get the PlayStation Classic. They might have been better off using this spot for a different game. Intelligent Cube, never played it. Apparently while watching RGT85 video, I found out that this game is kind of a hidden gem. I've never played it, never heard of it. It's a puzzle game. They wanted to keep some variety on the PlayStation Classic, so they went with some puzzle games. This is one of them, apparently a hidden gem. RGT85 was a little excited about it, so I guess maybe I should be too. Jumping Flash. Now I've never played this game ever, never heard of it, up until hearing about the PlayStation Classic. Now I've seen it on YouTube in action, no excitement whatsoever. It's, I guess it's some sort of platformer and the guy's jumping on different platforms and, and beating enemies and collecting different coins and stuff. I don't know, it didn't look too exciting, it's not as exciting as playing a platformer like Mario 64. And it seemed a little slow to me. I don't know. Not excited about it. Metal Gear Solid. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely excited. 
played the whole way through this game as a child. I think I might have played it more than one time. I love the game. I love the stealth aspect of the game. I love the cutscenes. And let's not forget how cool Cyborg Ninja looked. I'm sure that's everybody's favorite character in the game. Really happy to have this on the PlayStation Classic. This is the first game that I'm actually excited for. Mr. Drill, another puzzle game. Never heard of it. First time hearing about it. Not really hyped. It might be fun, who knows, I've never played it before. Second game that I am excited for is Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. Now granted I have this game on so many different systems, especially the limited run edition for the PS Vita, but it's it's Oddworld and I love the Oddworld series and Abe's Odyssey is a 2D platformer with a lot of hilarity to it. I mean, the main character farts and everybody else laughs. How can you go wrong with that? Happy to see this game on the PlayStation Classic. Next game on the list is Rayman, the original Rayman. Now, honestly, this is the most colorful 2D platformer that I've ever played. There are 44 games that they have released. Great platformer. I love the character. It's, it's unique design with its floating limbs that aren't attached to his body. The game's great, honestly. I don't know necessarily if this is the game I would have liked to play on the PlayStation Classic, but I do love the series, and it got me a little excited to have it on here. I'm not going to count this as one of the games that I'm excited to see on the PlayStation Classic, but I think it's not bad. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now, of course, i got to be happy about this. This is the third game I'm excited for, but I will say I kind of wish that they would have put Resident Evil 2 on this. I know, I know, they're remaking the game and I am really happy about that. At E3, this was the game that excited me the most. The fact that they're remaking one of the best Resident Evils in the series, which is Resident Evil 2, made me happy and I kind of would have liked to have played it on the PlayStation Classic right before the remake release. But, I mean, I guess I still can get a little hyped at Resident Evil Director's Cut. It's still a good game. Now, I've played that after I played Resident Evil 2 when I was a kid. And the mansion is kind of creepy and it does get you startled and the gameplay is really good, the puzzles are great. It's a good game and it's the third game that I'm excited to have on the PlayStation Classic. Next is Revelations Persona, another game I knew nothing about, never played. Apparently from watching RGT85's video, people are excited about this. I've never heard of it, I think it's another RPG and that's probably why, like I said, not really into turn-based RPGs. The only RPG that I've ever liked is Kingdom Hearts, which the third one's coming out. Really excited about that. Ridge Racer Type 4. Now granted, eh, is it the best racing game that could have been on the PlayStation Classic? No, everybody would have loved to see Gran Turismo. Me personally, I would have loved to see the game Driver in its place. I used to love that series. I haven't played many of them nowadays, but great games. Ridge Racer Type 4 is apparently a decent game, so, I mean, it's not bad, but something better could have been put in its place. Another puzzle game. Oh, yay. Super Puzzle Fighter 2. I guess it's sort of related to Street Fighter. Not a game that I've really played. I've seen it in action before, hearing about it being on the PlayStation Classic. I guess they just wanted to put different games on here, and I get it, but I'd rather see something better than Puzzle Fighter. Siphon Filter, the fourth game I am excited to have on the system, and who wouldn't be excited? Now, the funny thing is, I've never played Siphon Filter, the original. I've played the second one. I love the second one. Apparently, other people think that the first one was a whole lot better, especially with story is concerned. I personally love Siphon Filter 2. I love the story. I love the stealth. People try to say that Siphon Filter, this game, is better than Metal Gear Solid. And I don't know because I love the original Metal Gear Solid and I felt that that was better than Siphon Filter 2, which I played. But like I said, people say the first one of Siphon Filter is better. I'll finally get to play the original and I'll probably let you know what I think. I might even do a Wii Play video on it. Tekken 3. I'm not going to even talk much about this. Not excited to see it. Don't get me wrong. I loved Tekken 3 when I was a kid. It's just the 3D fighters, we, we really could have done without those. Tom Clancy Rainbow Six. No. Twisted Metal. Yes. 
I am happy to see this, but I, there's only one gripe I have with it is it should have been Twisted Metal 2. Twisted Metal 2 is far better. You have a more wide range of variety in that game. Instead of just being secluded to one city like LA, you had the world. And who doesn't love getting in a car, shooting off different weapons, attacking your opponent? It's a great multiplayer game. Always love the series. The only one I've never played is Twisted Metal Black. And I'm really happy to see this on a classic. I just wish it was the second one. Wild Arms, another RPG, I guess. Not really happy about that. Not going to go too far into that. But those are the 20 games that are on the PlayStation Classic. My overall happiness with it is about a 40%. I mean, I'm happy to see four... Maybe I'll even go as far as saying five of those games that are on the system. Now, there are a lot of games that people say should have been on the system. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro. Other people disagree with that because they say that those games are already being remade. And they're on multiple systems. But let's not forget, this is the PlayStation Classic. And how can you have a PlayStation Classic or PlayStation related device that does not have Crash Bandicoot on it, The Mascot, or even Spyro, who was technically kind of Crash Bandicoot's sidekick when it came to selling PlayStations. Also, a lot of people are upset that Legend of Dragoon isn't on there. Never played it. I wouldn't mind trying to play it. As I said, not an RPG fan, but I definitely would like to get into it. I've gotten into them a little as I've grown into an adult. But those are some of the games that people would like to see on it. Now, I am planning on making a video of games that I personally think should have been on there, and one of them's Heart of Darkness. If you're interested to see that video, do hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Final thoughts of the PlayStation Classic. As I said, I was kind of going to discuss why it just doesn't matter what's on the PlayStation Classic. I, as well as other people, aren't too happy or impressed with the list of games that are on the PlayStation Classic, but that doesn't really matter because ask yourself one question, what happens with these classic systems all the time? And I know there are some people out there that won't like this because they just want a system. They just want to play it right out the box. They're not looking to modify, but every system, the NES Classic, the Super Nintendo Classic, and before I say this, shh. Even though it's on video, let's pretend I didn't say this. This system, the PlayStation Classic, will be hacked at some point, And I'll be able to put whatever I want on there. And that's one of the reasons why I still have it pre-ordered. I, myself, love to collect video games. And I don't have a big collection like Metal Jesus Rocks or RGT85 or even Wood from Beat 'em Ups. But I do have some things in my collection that I hold near and dear to my heart. And having a small miniature PlayStation... A system that I loved growing up as a kid, probably one of the best PlayStation systems that ever came out. Why not? And at some point, I'll be able to put my favorite games on there. I can do away with the games I don't like, or I can keep them there just in case I decide, what the heck, let me play them. Bring back some nostalgia. That's the whole reason why we are retro collectors. That's the whole reason why we love playing retro games, because... It brings us a feeling that some of us just don't feel anymore with current gen games, not that I don't like them. So either way, it doesn't really matter what's on the PlayStation Classic. You're going to be able to put anything you want. Trust me, at some point this system will be modified. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're happy with what's on the PlayStation Classic, what games did you want to see that weren't on there? And also, let me know, did this list turn you off and make you cancel your pre-order because I am interested. I am just curious as to how many people as soon as they seen this list went on and canceled their pre-order. Let me know all those in the comments down below. If you liked what was contained in this video, do hit the thumbs up. Consider sharing amongst your friends and the rest of your social media. And as always, don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button.